Hi. Hi. This is going to be the talking version today. <laughs> God damn it. What's up? Welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we're going to find out if a waffle cone filled with ice cream. <laughs> it's so bright. The sun is. I feel like we're going to need to turn at an angle a little bit. What's up? And welcome to the episode of Gizmo Slip. Today we're going to find out if a waffle cone has what it takes to protect an iPhone 6S from a 100 foot drop. It's going to be freaking epic. Let's get started. All right, so we have two iPhone 6S's for this video. Oh yeah. So both of these have been unlocked already. We're gonna be putting a Ghost Tech Atomic 2.0 case on one of these phones. This is a waterproof case. Big shout out to Ghost Tech for providing the iPhones and helping support the show. Let's go ahead and put this bad boy right in here. And all you have to do is push this down and the case is basically on. There you go, case is on there. All right, so let's take this bad boy out and peel off the wrapper. Awesome. Okay, so natural vanilla bean. Let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go. Okay, so big shout out to Darren. He's helping film today and he brought his Phantom Miro uh, for us to do the slow motion shot. It's very easy to use compared to my Phantom. Anyway, okay, so let's uh, get, get scooping. The goal is to make as cushy a landing for this iPhone as possible. So I'm gonna make a little spot, if you will, for the iPhone to nestle. We want this iPhone nestling really well. Right, like that maybe? Okay, let's go ahead and just pile some more on here. And let's go ahead and put the iPhone in now. And really dig into this ice cream. So the Ghost Tech case will definitely have an advantage when it comes to like, potentially getting ice cream in the ports. <laughs> That's probably the biggest concern for this iPhone right now, is just getting ice cream all in the ports and stuff. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy bananas. We're just gonna put some more ice cream here on either side. Kind of mush it up real good before dropping it. <laughs> it's gonna completely cover this, this phone right now with ice cream. All right, here we go. You ready? Ice cream, ice cream cone, homemade iPhone case. Away! Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, let's take a look at the phantom footage. Look at the sprinkles coming off that cone and boom! And just the explosion of ice cream. And it, it reminds me a lot of the Ublek uh, drop test where the chunks like literally seem to solidify when they hit the ground. That is really cool. Wow. Uh, we're gonna make the second cone real fast and drop it as well. And then we're gonna go evaluate both of them together. Okay, let's make the second cone. Okay. Let's make the second cone. Second, second cone time. Second cone time. Second cone time. Oh yeah. Load this ice cream cone up. Okay, let's go ahead and put the cone in. Boom. Oh. My fingers are freezing right now. Okay, here it comes in three, two, one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ice cream explosion. In three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Ice cream explosion. Exploded. Here comes the ice cream cone. And again, you can see sprinkles falling off that thing and kaboom. And initially there wasn't as much of an explosion, but then more chunks, more big chunks come flying off that thing, especially the ones off to the right there look pretty gnarly. Way cool, all right. Okay, let's see what happened. Pulling this off first. Look at that ice cream droop off. <sighs> The screen is not shattered. Let's see if it turns on. No, it is definitely not turning on. 
But this thing was in critical battery level, so we need to go back and charge this up and see if it's still working. Let's check out the other one. <laughs> that looks so satisfying. <laughs> it is, dude. When you when you peel that off, it's just like, oh. Let's see. <gasps> yep, this one's still on. Still functional. You can see the uh, numbers right there. Let's get these cleaned up, dried off, and plugged in, and we'll see if this one actually survived or not. It's gonna be very interesting to find out. So fast forward to cut to the future. Okay, so here are the two phones, the one with the ghost tech, the one without the ghost tech case. And one last thing I need to note, uh, this thing is cracked. It's got one long hairline crack going all the way down to right here. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see if it's functional. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh my God. What have I done? Okay, let's try plugging it in and turning it on. Hey, look at that, it's turning on, awesome. So this is a very surprising result. I really thought this was gonna have more damage from the ice cream getting into the ports and everything, and who knows, maybe there is a little bit more damage in there. But either way, I'm really impressed, and of course the one in the Ghost Tech case looks to be perfectly fine, 100%. Big shout out to Ghost Tech again for sending over these iPhones and the cases and sponsoring this episode. Uh, if you're in the mood for a waterproof, stylish iPhone case, give them a look. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Brandon Balloon out. Woo. Oh my god. It's like a freaking, it's like someone jumping into a pool.